hi there in this video i'm going to show you what a temp data is and why do we need temp data here i have a table department department id department name and activity department id is auto generated column and department name and hod are of type varchar and i have created a small app which inserts the data into this table that we have already seen so this is the table that i have and here is my model edm entity data model and the controller that i have is home and in the index that is the initial load of home controller i'm going to render the form which takes department name and hod and i click submit once i submit it is going to redirect me to the action insert of controller home so i come back to the home controller and here i have action insert and here i am using form collection object using which i can read department name and hod and i'll apply my entity operations on it and i'll create the object of department and i'll try to add it i'll just say return view that means i need to have a view for insert so i need to add a new view for insert so anyway as of now i haven't added that view because what i want once it insert the record it should go back to the same view index that means from here i want to send the control back to the action index so till now in our earlier videos we have seen how to render a view from action that is index is the action and we are in rendering a view index and insert is the action we can render a view insert but in this case what i want once the record gets inserted it should not render a view of insert what is that it should do it should send me back to the index action it means that i want to move from one action to another action what is that i can say instead of return view i can say that return redirect to action and name of the action is index and the beauty of this method is i can redirect it to the action of same controller or i can redirect it to the action of another controller say if i have one more controller about and i want to redirect it to the index of about i need to pass one more parameter here that is nothing but controller name if i don't pass any parameter by default it will redirect to the action of same controller that means once the record gets inserted it should take me to this action now let me save this i'll put a breakpoint in this and i'll execute it it first hits to the home controller and index action and i'll say a 5 so it has rendered the form now i'll just pass department name department name as r and d and hod name i'll pass as bob and i'll say submit it has reached the action insert now say f10 and the record got added to the object and it has got saved to the db now it's a return redirect to action index it has jumped back to index that means i am moving from one action to another action i'll say 5 now the form got reloaded record got inserted and form got reloaded now let me look into the database i get the record r and d 
So this is how you can move from one action to another action. Now my requirement is as the record gets inserted, I'll just take a variable message. I'll just take a variable message as a string msg and here I'll say try. If everything is fine, then I'll set msg equals to record inserted. Cat, I'll simply set message as record not inserted. That means due to some kind of exception, say the length of the data is more than the length what we have in the database column. So due to some reason, if record does not get inserted, I have a message record not inserted. Now I'm moving from this action to this action. And I want to read that message here. That means I want to pass message from action insert to action index or I want to carry some data from one action to another action. So till now what we saw if I want to carry data from view to action we were using few methods parameterized method and we also saw object context or context objects. And if we want to pass the data from action to view, that is action is index to view index or action insert to some view. We saw in our earlier video, we were using view data or view bag. If I want to pass the data from action to view, you are using view data or view bag. Here, I want to pass the data from one action to another action. So how do I do that? Here gets the necessity of temp data. This message, I cannot access it here. I cannot do that. The string m equals to I want that message. So what is that I can do? I can store that message in temp data variable. I can say temp data of msg equals to msg. So I can take any key for any value. Now I have stored in this temp data msg. Now I'll copy this and I'll try to paste it here. That means what? Say dot to string. That means what I have carried a message or a data from one action to another action. So let me execute this. So in my initial page load, or you can say initial hit to index, the temp data will be null. So it is going to throw an exception. So what is it I need to do? In my initial load, I'll check if temp data of message is not equals to null. I'll say that read it if it is not null and save this. Now let me re-execute this. So here we are in the index with our initial hit of the F10. Now it is null. It will skip this part and it is going to render the view. Here, I'll pass the department name as PDG, Product Development Group, and HOD as John. I'll say submit. Now, it is going to perform insert operation on my database. And it has got 
inserted successfully and it will set the message to record inserted. Now I'm storing that in temp data. I'll go back to the action index. Now this time my temp data is not null. So it is going to extract the value in M. So here I got the message. That is nothing but record inserted. Say five. But I want that message to display on the view. It means I have the message in the action, but I want to display it on the view. So what is that I need to do? I need to pass the value from this action to that view. So how do I do that? I will use my old formula or my old logic. Old logic is nothing but my view back or view data. I'll go with view back, view back dot m equals to m. Save this. And in this, here I'll say at view back dot m. And I'll also try to put a breakpoint here. Save this and execute it. Now, this is my initial load. I'll say F10. So, as this is null, it will skip this part and it will go to the view. Now here, as we have not stored anything in M, it will not throw an exception saying that it is null. Why? Because viewback handles the null value automatically. That's it. This is already we have seen that viewback takes care of about null values. Now I'll insert a department. This time. I'll go with some random text and I'll say submit. Now, same process. Now, I got the message and I'm going back to index action and I'm reading the message. I'm storing it in view bag and here I'll be reading it in view bag. It says record inserted. That is really good, really cool. Now you may think that can't I directly say here so I'll comment out this. So I'll comment out this and you may think that can't I directly say here as at if temp data of MSG is not equals to null then I'll just try to read temp data dot to string can't we do this now let us see i don't want to use this view back for intermediate data transfer i'll save this what is it we are doing we are reading temp data here and we are trying to read the same temp data in the index let us see what it says I'll just put a breakpoint here. Execute this. So, as usual, initially it will be null. We'll skip this. Say five. Comes to the index. Even here it will be null. It will skip this part. I'll say five. I get the form. I'll insert some random text without wasting the time. 
I'll just say submit. Now, set so ten got inserted. Got the message. I've stored the message in term data, and I'm back in the index. Now here it is not null. I have read the value. That's good. Now I'll say F10, 5, and let us see here. F10. It is entering in, into the block. That means temp data is not null. Now let us see. F10, F10. Let me select this, right click, and say quick watch value is record inserted and I'll say 5 so it says record inserted it means I can directly access in this index that means from one action to another action or the view that it renders from that action so I don't require this block anymore I'll just comment it out. Save this. Let me re execute this. Now I'll say F5. So here it will be null in the initial. I'll say F5. I'll just this is submit. And here I'll say F5. And we are into the index and from here I'll say F5. Now temp data is not null. Say F11. I'm going to display it on the index. I'll say F5. It says record inserted. That's really good. So what is temp data? Temp data is a dictionary or a key value pair whenever I want to carry the data from one action to another action or from one action to the view of another action so that's it this is your temp data thank you very much